Hello, 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 and hello. I hope you are all well and having a lovely Wednesday. I was about to say Tuesday. <laughs> having a lovely Wednesday. Um, yeah, here we are. Chrissy pointed out it's hump day, it's camel day, whatever you want to call it, in the middle of the week. Only two days left until, I mean, actually, to be honest, since since COVID, really, uh, I've stopped becoming, I've stopped being a weekend warrior. Like, I, every, every, I mean, this is not exactly how I live, but every day is kind of like a weekend, right? It's just like kind of blends in the same. Um, but uh, it's Wednesday, and that means, well, that means this week, um, it's time for a live stream. And here we are. We're here together right now, and we're ready to go. And hopefully, um, hopefully we're ready to go without any interruptions. I feel like maybe my. So it's just, it's just technology. We're not, we're not the biggest of fans. We're not the big friends, I should say. We're not the biggest of friends, but uh, we try. We try to get along, and sometimes we do, and sometimes we do not. And I'm just uh, just gonna wait just a few seconds for, well, to make sure that my stream is going first, and then secondly, that it's actually like somewhat readable because I can see on my computer over there that it does look a little bit blurry. But you know, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna I'm standing up, and that's that's not necessary anymore. <clears throat> so hi, hello. It's Wednesday. Yes, I mentioned that. It's time to play, well, the overwhelming majority, actually I don't know if that's true, but the overwhelming percentage of people wanted print and play. And so here we are, I've got, I've got a screen full, I've got a screen full of print and plays. Hi Mikolaj, how are you? How are you doing? I've got a screen full of, uh, a table full of prints and plays, um, some of which I've never played before, so that might be good or bad. Hey Seaton, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Um, that might be good or bad, um, depending on what you want, you know, what you're... <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty small text on here. I might, once we get there, I might, uh, I might, I might zoom in. Hi Lan, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, McClyde, thank you. Um, doing alright. It's been... It's been an okay day, you know? Just, it's been all right. It's been okay. Not spectacular, but not, not terrible. Just fine. And I'm okay with that, you know? Just nice and nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Um, and I'm ready to play some, ready to play some board games, I think. Yeah, ready to play some board games. I'm ready to roll some dice, maybe, or do something else, whatever it is. And, uh, and write some things on some sheets. Yeah, we've got some very small text, we do. But I, I, if, if once we choose the game, um, once we choose the game, we'll get into it and uh, and figure out, you know, what the uh, what, what the best camera angle is going to be. Um, hey, Livevine, I'm glad you're here. Um, I started to hear about your internet. That that I, I can't claim responsibility entirely, but I, I have to I have to acknowledge that it could have been my fault. Um, Yeah, 1572 in here. I, I I think I have a feeling this is one of Vaselko's favorites. Um, I've seen him. I'm pretty sure I've watched him play this on the uh, on his channel, and um, and that's kind of it's been. I've had this printed out for a while now. Um, Hilltown, you like 1572 as well? Okay, this this is looking pretty good then. Um, let me show you what we've got, and then um, and then let's let, let's let's make a choice together because I you know I'm I'm open to it right I'm I'm open to whatever we've whatever we've we've got. Um, all right, I have here Doom Realm. This is a perilous. Um, I'll, I'll just I'll quote it. A perilous roll and write adventure game. This is a 45 minute game um, in which we defeat enemies that get progressively stronger each turn. We have to explore various locations, I believe, on the map, and then the, our movement is dictated by uh, what what dice we roll. Um, so I've never played this. It might take me a while to get through the rules. I mean, not really. It's only three pages, but we can learn it together, maybe. Okay, that's one, Doom Realm. And most of these, I think, if not all of them, are 
um, free and available on um, like most uh, most uh, like PMP sites, you know, like uh, PMP Arcade and on Board Game Geek, etc., etc. Um, but Doom Realm is one, all right. Um, 1572 The Lost Expedition, um, as we've already spotted. Um, this is an expedition game, I guess. Um, conquistadors um, trying to make it back to or from from their you know from the discovery of an Aztec civilization um, back to their ship, um, back to safety, I should say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. <laughs> um, all right, let's move on to. I've got Night Class. Um, this is an interesting game. This is one that I have played before. It's 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 not my favorite roll and write game, but it, it was pretty. F it was okay. Um, you get to like place dice to give yourself ill abilities, um, with which you get to basically like smack baddies in the face. So we've got like thugs and bosses and mega bosses to destroy um, and hostages to rescue dotted around the map here. Um, we start down here in this corner. and We have to move around and, and get to various places. This is yeah. This is okay. I'm I'm okay with this. I don't mind it. I like it actually. It was all right. Not my favorite, but it's okay. Okay. What more can I say? All right. <laughs> Michael, I am from um, I am from Sheffield, England, um, by way of Seattle. So I live on the west coast. Um, lived in New York for a little bit, so I picked up a little bit of East Coast yank out there, and my accent is. Um, a mishmash. <laughs> I think of all of those things. <laughs> um, we've got Temple Antics. This is one that I've never played either. Um, this requires eight d six and only ten or twenty minutes. So we could play a game. We could play this and then something else, even if you wanted to. Um, but we've got Temple Antics. This we draw walls, draw movements. Um, I think we kind of overcome traps and then have to again like get in and out the temple um, with some delightful. Uh, you know, idols and whatnot from from inside the uh, inside the the loot chambers. Um, so we've got Temple Antics, two copies of that for some reason. Um, so I'll put one of them aside. Right. Oh well, I mean, <laughs> it needs no introduction, does it? We've got a, we've got a game of Nine Circles in my pile. Uh, we could play Nine Circles for sure. Maybe you want to watch. Yeah, yeah, Temple. I th yeah, good and fast. I think that's probably true. Nice and easy to get through. Um, nine circles for sure. We can play in five minutes, maybe. Um, have a good go at that. Um, for anyone, this is. No tiny, no circles. Tiny. Wait, no tiny. No tiny writing. You mean? Or no temple. Um, we've got. We've got. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We've got Dirklau Heist, which. I really love this game. Um, I have a, I've played it a few times, although I haven't played. I've got some more character sheets here that I haven't played. Um, I don't think I've ever played as Trixie or as Bruce. Um, and so the this is a roll and write heist game where we essentially um, get in and out of a uh, secure location. Let's just say. Um, Oh, no, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No tiny, no circles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pumpkin, pumpkin and sweet pea. If if she's not here, we can't we can't rightfully play nine circles. That is true. Um, so yeah, we could play some Dirklau Heist. That would be fun. Um, I do like that game. This is like it. It reminds me a lot of um, Ganshan Clever. Um. You're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> All right. Well, you know that's fine. I can. I'm, I'm happy to be. I'm happy to be your uh, your like late night white noise. Um, and then we've got Bargain Basement: Bathosphere of Beachside Bay. This is a game that I've been wanting to play for a long time, but I've never actually got around to it. So this is one again that would be learning together, but I don't think it's that difficult. Um, and the first level is, I think, kind of like a tutorial, so it's set up like quite straightforwardly. That's a word. Um, and that could be a good one to play as well. I mean, it's not the most, it's not the most like incredible looking of games, but I've heard that it's very good. And I, uh, I've, I've actually have watched Vizelka, a bit of Vizelka's playthrough on this as well, um, who did it very well. So we can do some bargain basement bathosphere. So, um, <laughs> um, all right. So that's it. 
I think that's it. I think that's my. I think that's my pile. I've got a few more, but that that's that's the one that I. That's that. That's that. that those are the ones that I collected. So, um. Right. Let me try to. Let me try to. Um, figure out who says what that my my quality on my stream coming through my computer is absolutely terrible and i'm hoping that it's a bit better on your guys side um let me see if i can okay i mean it looks a bit better now i don't know hopefully we're doing all right okay so a live vine um uh i believe you're voting for bargain basement so we can definitely do that um I believe, uh, Lan, you look like you're Bargain Basement on board as well. Um, that's pretty good. Oh, Temple Antics, okay. Um, well, you know what? Bargain Basement, yeah, okay. Um, Hilltown, you say 1572, although you might fall asleep. Um, and Vasoko says he's ready for another adventure. Oof, all right. Okay, well. Basement, okay. All right, well, let's do it then. Basement it is. The Triple B, or... Quintuple B, um, if you count the Beachside Bay. Um, first off, I have to say, um, uh, lots of you may know um, Fag, who shows up in our in my streams quite a lot, um, and is on the Discord, um, and uh, is an all-around lovely man. And um, he is in hospital right now um, after surgery. Shout out to him. Um, I don't think he's watching, but hello, and many, many swift recoveries to you. Um, and this isn't meant to be offensive, but I'm going to drink a LaCroix in your honor. <laughs> um, and it's, it's a, it's a nice essence of Pomple Moose tonight. Mm. But yeah, I hope you feel well. I hope you get better very soon and we'll, uh, we'll see you around. Um, I'm very sure that, that is that bargain basement bathosphere. This is a series of single page roll and writes, all centered around taking your cheap bathosphere held together by duct tape and spit for a little adventure downward into the ocean. It's easy to go down, it's a lot harder to make it to the surface alive. Each page slowly builds new rules and adventures from the previous page, so you should start with adventure zero to start your adventure becoming a bathosphere maniac. Well, unless otherwise noted on each page, rules will carry over from the previous page. So it's kind of like a um, kind of like a legacy game almost. I know he hates the Croy, but it, one, it's the only thing I had in my fridge, and two, I quite like the grapefruit ones. I don't, I don't know. I quite like them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not a fan. <laughs> right. We will need at most eight six-sided dice if you get aggressive about using bonuses. Well, I think these like kind of, kind of sea-ish, sea blue ones, kind of fit in for the theme and I used these last time as well but they were kind of spacey last time but were their dual purpose um on some occasion you'll need some tape and some scissors goodness all right well there we go each game sheet is an exciting adventure into the murky depths all right which includes a map on the right side we check our stress and how much damage we take and as our sphere takes stress we'll occasionally take damage as a sphere takes damage you'll start to lose dice we can roll if you mark all of our stress damage or oxygen before we return to the surface the game immediately ends and you've lost right playing an overview you start with a number of six-sided dice you roll them into your dice pool at the start of each round you pick one dice out of your pool which determines how far in a single direction you move on the map you're free to decide if you want to go up and down but once you start moving you must continue moving in that direction the full length of the move the dice you selected is then put aside you then move on the map perform actions based on where you move to and what actions you've passed so you just need five all right good good to know thanks for selco i'm going to rely on you here for the uh, for the rules probably Right, select another die from your dice pool to move, or re-roll all of your dice back into the dice pool. When you do this, you must mark one oxygen. The total of dice you can re-roll is determined by the current amount of damage you have. Okay, so basically, we roll them all. These are the ty these are the, the, the different levels of movement we can take. We take one of them and set it aside, and if we want to re-roll, if we want to move different uh, a different number, then we can pay an oxygen to re-roll them all. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit, sorry. I did say I would do that. Um, so let's go like right. How about how's, how's that? Maybe a bit better. I mean, it's still very small, but I think once we get onto the actual diagram, it'll, it'll, it'll look better. Right. Let's see. The tutorial. The final page of this document include a, include a visual tutorial explaining the basics of moving and marking. Feel free to look at the last page, or you can wait until you've read the rules. All right. Let's see. 
When you stop on a grey action space that has not been marked, you mark that entire space and do not perform any actions on it. When you stop on a white target space, you mark it and then collect whatever's there, usually by circling something. When you stop on any space that's previously been marked in any way, you marked out that space entirely and you mark one stress. Okay, so we don't want to land on places we've already landed on. Makes sense. After moving, you must go back and forth. Oh, sorry. You must go back and look. I don't know what, what that was. If you go back and look at all the spaces you moved through, for each action space you pass through with each at least one unmarked action, mark an action and perform it. Some have single actions, some have two actions. The first time you pass the space, you'll select one of the actions. If you pass by a second time, you must mark and perform the second action. Okay, so like, um, let me... So... For example, it looks to me like all of these are the same. Is that maybe just that I've got a bad printer, or is it that they don't actually include white spaces until the end? I don't know. But um, so this is the this is the first level, bathosphere O E Z. It does you no good to touch the ocean floor if you are dead. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, so these are the spaces you can see on the track. So we start up here, we go down. For some reason, kind of like come back up, but then we circle our way down to the ocean floor down here. Um, now, these are the actions that they're speaking about, which are usually, um, it looks like marking off one stress or marking off one oxygen. Here's our damage, here's our stress, here's our oxygen at the bottom. That's not on the screen. Here's our damage, here's our stress, here's our oxygen at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Okay, maybe I will need to move it back up just a tiny bit. Oh. Yeah, that seems all right. Okay. So, action space is lovely. Empty spaces do nothing. Target spaces are white. Oh, okay, these are the white ones th with thick black borders. They activate their abilities when you land on them. Initially, ocean floor is the only target space, but other will be added through the campaign. Good, all right. So it's, it's not my printer. It's just that these are the only things we actually need to concentrate on. The little arrows on the side of each space have no meaning, but they're there to use as additional markers to help keep track of your path. Okay. Yeah, all right, that's fine. When you cross a series of diamonds in a line, like this one, you cross into a new depth zone, which always increases the stress on your bathosphere. For every space you move past a depth zone line, when you cross the line, you mark one stress. So how many stress do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 22? Yeah, some compelling content there, um, as I count, uh, count in my head. Uh, tw 22 stress, um, I think. Um, returning to the surface, much like the depth zones, if you reach a dead end on a path, you must stop on that final space and you mark stress equal to the amount of remaining spaces you should have moved but couldn't. Oh, uh, okay. Um, right, okay. The start and end space is a little different. You, mark, you don't mark stress for unused movement on the start and end. However, you do need to go back and check for actions you pass in your final movement. If your bathosphere has still survived after this final marking of actions, you've escaped the watery depths. Lovely. So, we've got a little bit of campaign, which we don't need to know about right now. Um, and that's fine. The goal is to see how deep you can go and return to the surface. Ideally, you visit as many ocean floor spaces as possible, because, let's face it, you are a risky adventurer. That's true, I, I am a risky adventurer. Note that on these maps, marking an ocean floor space may also cause you to mark stress, damage, or oxygen. Yes, indeed it will. If you feel the need to turn around without touching the ocean floor, it's okay. If you don't make the ocean floor, that's fine too. Your safety is important. A big part of the strategy of the game is getting us a good sense of when it's time to turn around. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you must be in the wrong place. Uh... <laughs> Aside from reading the rules printed on the maps, you should look at your little bathosphere icon in the upper right. This indicates how many dice you start the map with. Five. Pasoko called it five. Object, take a dive and see how deep you can go and still return to the surface. Right, roll them into your starting dice pool. Lovely, lovely, and lovely. Uh, do we have a name? We always need a name, don't we? What's what's our what's our basement? What's our bargain basement bathosphere called? First one, you know how this goes. First one in the chat. I need a name for my bargain basement bathosphere, and if it begins with B, then all the better. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> equal, <laughs> equal opportunities. Internet, we're demanding demanding your presence in in this live stream i need i need the internet to show up 
Right. On your turn, spend one die out of your rolled dice pool to move that many spaces. Yep. You must stop at dead ends. Yep. Mark stress equal to the amount of extra spaces you didn't move. Yep. After moving, you may mark one oxygen to re-roll all of your dice back into your dice pool. Okay. Ooh, the Solaris. Love that. Okay. Doesn't begin with B at all, but I'm still down. And Belaris doesn't have um, doesn't have a good ring to it at all. Yeah, sorry, Live Vine. I, I stole your internet. I just took I just took the I just took the pipes. That's how it works, right? I took the pipes and just diverted them into my boiler room. Um, all right. So feel free to mark up the arrow ticks. Yep. When you land on a space you've not landed on yet, mark the full space off. Do not perform any actions there, exception on the ocean floor. Yep. For every unmarked space you pass, mark one uncrossed action on it and perform it. Pass a depth zone, mark off stress equal to the amount of spaces you move past the zone. Okay, let's just... Uh, yeah, Bathy McBath... <laughs> Bathy Mc... <laughs> ba I can't even say it. Bathy McBath... Bathy McBaseface or McBath... <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's called the Solaris. I said it was the first one, and it's much easier to say. Um, The Maiden Voyage. I was going to say HMS, but... I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not, at this point, I don't think we, we want Her Majesty's anything, do we? Um, there's some, there's a whole load of controversy going on over there. We don't want, we don't want Her Majesty to be breaking champagne anywhere near this bathosphere. Um, so this is the maiden voyage of the Solaris, a fully private enterprise. Um, nothing to do with any sort of monarch whatsoever. Right, um, I am I am delaying, and uh, the reason for that is because I have to roll some dice. So let's get five dice rolled and see what we've got. We've got a one, a two, two fives, and a six. And so remember, any time we go past this, we need to mark off stress, which is not good, correct? So we don't want to go like, right, we're here, yeah? This is where we start. So one, two, three, four, five, six the likelihood of getting then a roll that isn't one and marking off lots of stress is probably quite high. So I don't really want to go for a six. Similarly, I don't really want to go for a five because that's also quite reasonable or also quite likely. But um, if I go for a two, then I immediately land on this stress uh, symbol and we don't want to do that either. So do I go with a one or do I go with a five? I think Oh, I suppose I could go with a five and then a two, because I don't have to re-roll these, do I? Yeah, okay. So, um, so when I move, when I when I land on it, I just shade it out, correct? So, like, one, two, three, four, five, and I just, I'm going down, so I'll circle my down button, and mark the full space off. Do not perform an action there. Yeah, okay. So I think I do, wait, do not perform an action there. Oh, I see. Wait, so... In fact, if I landed on this, I do want to go there because, yeah, oh, that was really stupid. Okay, so in fact, I got the I got the rules exactly wrong, and what I should have done is done two and then done five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and that would be just one stress instead of two. All right, well, you know what? It's okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go with it. So five has been set aside, um, and we we'll just we'll we live and learn. We live and learn. The Solaris takes a stress, um, and we just shade that in. Um, what does this little one mean? Hang on. Hold your horses. What does this mean? That means damage. Oh, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. C come here. Right. When you mark damage, uh, blah, blah, blah. you always start marking oxygen from the left, work your way to the right. When you're marking stress or damage, start by the top and work your way down. That, make, that makes sense to me. When you mark damage, you circle the die next to the damage. This indicates you are aware of the new maximum dice pool. Oh, okay. You see, you see, you see. So we start with a... I don't know what these one, two, and threes are, though, on the top here. I don't know if you know... I don't even... I don't even know if you can see them, but there's like a little stress and then a little one. So, um, hold on, oh, hold, hold, hold on, live vine. I need you to hold more than you're holding, please. 
No, 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 no. Right, I know, I'm panicking already. I'm literally like a toe in, I think. Free change bag. You got a little number. What is the number meaning? Don't worry about the number. All right, perfect. Number, we're not worrying about it. We have taken a stress, but that's okay. Now, we're gonna take this five, and I think we're gonna go one and two, right, to right here. And so this means that we're gonna mark off one more stress. We're going down. One more stress, because we just passed this, but you only passed it by one, right? Doop -do -do. Right, so now, however, so actually having big numbers isn't necessarily good because you're gonna, you, the likelihood of passing more things is quite high. Uh, but one, two, three, four, five gets us to here, and that means we don't take these actions. We do take this one, cross off the stress space you skipped. Oh, yeah, correct. Do I like shade it out? Do I shade it out entirely so I can't land there again? Thag is here, hello. Whatever. For Selco, that is the least helpful advice I've ever heard. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, cry. we're gonna, cry. <laughs> we're gonna cross out. <laughs> We're gonna cross out this, I guess, and I d so that means we can't land on it again, I think. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we're here, but this means that we haven't landed on it, but we've passed it. So, I mean, we're like, I think, yeah, like Hilltown says, maybe, maybe we don't really care. Uh, in fact, this is bargain basement bathysphere. This is the maiden voyage of the Solaris bathysphere we've created, um, held together with duct tape and spit, and we are taking a dive to the ocean floor and then returning to the surface, hopefully, in one piece. We have got about nine spaces in, and I'm already panicking. Um, I forgot to mention that I don't like deep water um, to the owner of, of said bathysphere. Um, so if we, if we roll a six, or if we use a six, I should say, we go one, two, three, four, wait, no, a five, sorry. We're here, and we go one, two, three, four, five. That gets us onto this space here, and that means we don't take that action. But we do still have to ro uh, mark this stress off. So stress and stress. So actually, but wait, so on the way up, you don't, you don't have any choice of... You don't have any choice of getting stress again. Bloody rules. You know, wow, come on. Come on, rules. Moving and marking. When you stop on a gray action space that's not been marked. Yep, 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 yep. When you stop on any space that has been previously marked, mark out the space entirely if there are any remaining actions on it and mark one... St oh, so you just get a stress, essentially. But also... You might... Oh, so once we've taken it, we're not going to take it again. If you land on a crossed out space, you get one stress. Yeah, but we don't... Yes, okay, that makes sense. All right, that's fine. We can, we can, we can live with that. All right, so I'm here. We're going to keep going down. Um, we've only got three stress out of what I remember to be 22, so that's not too bad. We've got no damage so far, though we might earn the next couple of stresses. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, or just a one. Which, I mean, maybe it's one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this seems like a pretty good course of action. If you skip it, nothing happens. Yeah, okay. So that's a one, and um, we're going to go just right here. Just take it nice and steady. You can... Uh, I just want to... Uh, hang on, why have I got... This is, ridic this is ridiculous. Why have I got red lights on? This needs to be like aquamarine, doesn't it? Like a nice blue colour. Maybe I can't... Maybe you can't even see it, but... Oh, yeah, I think I turned down my lights to record something the other day. All right, we've got a nice blue glow to the place now, um, or at least to my fingers. Um, so as we as we descend deeper into the murky waters of, what's this place called? Beachside Bay. We um, 
we're obviously is this tropical or is this where are we i mean are we are we in the english channel or are we i mean if we're in if we're on the west coast over here then we've got like giant pacific octopuses which are very cool exceedingly smart <laughs> some tartan lights some tartan yeah um we've got some pacific oct o octopuses octopi bloody hell um, we've got some anemones, maybe I don't know. We, maybe some sharks. Who? I mean, you know, I'm not. I'm not making the rules. But it's it's lovely down here. I've got to say, um, it's lovely so far. Sounds like Florida. Okay, yeah, I'm down. I'm okay. Let's go. Let's go dive in some Flor Floridian waters. Plenty of crocodiles, sharks, angry creatures, sea camels. Absolutely, they're down here, hundred percent. If there could be sea cucumbers, there can definitely be sea sea camels. We're here, and I need to roll, a, or not roll, but draw a six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll stop on this one. Um, and we don't, again, need to take any more actions. Lovely. Um, or, no, wait, hang on. When I, I wonder if I land on a multiple one, do we just cross out one? No, you mark the entire space. Okay, brilliant. If it's Florida, where's the math? Whoa! I think that's I think that's my dice, isn't it? That's the Breaking Bad blue blue color. Um, right, we're down here. We've passed this, which is two stress. I can cross it out. Um, thank you, Vasilko, for clarification on that. Um, but two stress, one and two, and we're going to take one damage. So this gets marked out, and our dice pool is still at a five. So that's okay. We've still got five dice to roll. Um, yeah, I did. I took two stress. I took it. I took it. Now we need to roll all of our dice again. And when we roll all of our dice again, we mark off an oxygen. Copyright idea. Business idea. Illegal business idea. Number 75. Meth dice. Just, you're not having a good time playing board games? Just pop one of these in your mouth and you are good to go. One oxygen down, and we're going to roll these dice. Oh. Right, we've got some fours, and a three, and a one, and a two. Nicely in ascending order. What are we looking at here? One, two, three, four. That seems like a pretty pretty decent shout. One, two, three, four. Down here. Boop. And, again, not taking any damage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. One, two, three will take me here. I'm doing pretty well in this game, I feel like. One, two, three. Famous last words. Curse of the commentator. Um, that one is going down. Look at this. I'm, all, I'm already down nearly, pretty much, to the bottom. Um, here we are down... On this space, no more stress. One, two, three gives us a damage. But if we go one and then one, two, we'll be just fine. So one gets us here, which this is tough because we're going to create a pretty close together bundle of crosses, aren't we? Um, but I think it's worth it to try and get as deep as possible quickly. Um, I always. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you're totally right. Thank you. Good catch. Um, appreciate that. Now that we're under the surface, um, now that we're under the surface, we need to uh, we need to be. I, I do like the thought of like sliding down and up um, in in the in the ocean. Maybe I can just can I just do this now and then I'll I'll just try to remember that it's this close um, and then yeah and then at least like you can see actually what I'm looking at. Um, right, so the this is our dice pool, still two and a four. So um, I can go a two and cross out this damage and not have to take damage, which is brilliant. And then one, two, three, four, we can go here and cross out this stress. Um, so that's that, and that's this. I think we're doing pretty pretty well here. I mean, I don't, I, like I said, I've never played this game before, but it seems to me like we're doing all right. We do, though, need to cross off another oxygen. Um, how many oxygen have we got? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 oxygen. Um, okay. 
So I think that's two out of 13 isn't too bad. And we've, we've got one more stress up here, but we don't have to take any damage for a little bit. Um, damage is only gonna start coming in here maybe, I don't know. All right, let's give him a roll and, uh, and see what we've got. Twos and ones and threes and fours and one, two, three will land us on here to get us a two to there. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. I think I feel like I'm getting. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm getting pretty lucky with these rolls. If I move a three, that's one, two, three. Um, so that's this. Don't want to. Don't want to land on that. Or we do want to land on that. Sorry. But we don't want to pass it. You know. Oh, and we can do a three here as well. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. All right, so we're going to roll a two. Or I keep saying roll, but I don't mean roll. I mean, like, set aside. So we're going to set aside a two um, to go here. Whoops. Uh, to go there. Don't need to worry about that. I mean, I think once we come up, we're going to be, like, getting a lot of stress. But I think that's better than getting stress on the way down, maybe. Now, is there like a marking off damage reveals how many dice you can have for the rest of the game? Marking off stress may result in you marking off a damage. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I, I, what's the? I mean, I know the aim is to get down to the ocean floor, but how do you know how well you've done? I guess it's just like how how many ocean floors you, you know, we're intrepid adventurers. That's what it says in the in the tutorial. So, uh, I guess we'll just we'll just try and score by like how how much time we spend down here looking around. Maybe how many fish we can catch or something. It's a train mission. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, well, good. At least I've, I've got I've got one more mission printed out then, so we might get. Oh yeah, look at this. There's all sorts of different things on here. All right, I'm not gonna. Uh, no spoilers, but uh, let's 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 keep going. Um, we'll do a one. Uh, we'll mark off a one there. Uh, maybe I should have marked off a two, but maybe it's not different. I don't know. Um, so that's a one, and then another two will get us to here. That's that one, so don't need to do anything there. And then we've got a four, which would do one, two, three, four. We'd have to take a stress, but I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah, we do. We have to get to. We do have to get to the surface. If we don't get to the surface, then we do die. But I feel like if we've got, I mean, this is obviously in that case, like this would be considered the halfway point, right? So if we're if we're getting up to halfway, and we've only used two and five out of 13 and 20 something. I think we're doing okay. Should have gone one back, four. F oh, I forgot you can re you can go the other way, can't you? So I can do, I could have done, wait, hold on. So I could have gone one back, four forward. So like one, oh yeah, like one, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, to keep a two. Uh, okay, all right. Now I'm figuring. All right. Well, I'm not figuring out, but now, now I'm now I'm interested. Um, now I'm interested. All right, that's good to know. Um, I mean, do I just re-roll and see if I can land on, get lucky and keep and, and and get a two here, or should I just press on and and just kind of and go for it? Um, I mean, obviously, part of me wants to just go for it because that's the kind of moronic choices I typically make in board games <laughs> but uh, maybe it's not a best maybe it's not the best idea um, I don't know Fag says yes so we're just gonna move on then <laughs> all right so let's let's go for a four um, so one two three four um, into this space right here um, we're still going down and We've used this dice. We can cross off this, take a stress, but that's okay. We're on one, two, three, four, five, six stress. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six stress. So we're gonna re-roll all of these. Here we are, and we're looking for a two, and then maybe a one, two, three. A two and a three would be brilliant. Maybe even a two, three, and a one. But now we can move backwards. It's a game changer. I mean, it's not really, it's just a game rule that I didn't know, but, uh, or I didn't really think about, because of course, like, yeah. Right, you're gonna have to trust me that I'm not changing any of these, but one, one, two, a five, and a six, which isn't, which isn't one or a three, but, 
Uh, let's think. I can do a two to get here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hear me out. So if I go two forward, that gets me there. One back and then five forward. And that's one, two, three, four, five gets me there. I still have to take a stress. I still have to take two stress by passing this line. But I think that's maybe the best we're going to get out of this roll without wasting any oxygen. Two stress gets us down here. Okay, now I am feeling a bit like... Now I am feeling a bit like that is running out quite quickly. Um, but <laughs> let's... I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so if I go forward by two, that's two. We get here. Don't have to take that stress. Go one back. I mean, this little block of numbers isn't great. Or a little block of crosses. But if we go back by one and then forward by five. Uh, there's one and then back this way. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five. We get to this space. Boop. And we cross this by two, so that means two more stress. One and two. But, I mean, we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close to whatever, whatever delightful Floridian coral reef we are trying to get to. I could take a one, but part of me doesn't... The unfortunate thing is I don't you don't re-roll these, do you? You don't you don't ever you don't re-roll dice you've never used. Excuse me. So so I don't get to re-roll these and change them. So I'll always have a or not always, but I will have even if I re-roll these three, I'll still have a one and a six in my pool, which is okay, but not great. Um I'm gonna do it. So I need, I need to mark off an oxygen. And we've got a three, a two, and a four. Those are nice numbers, um, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, some of the best, in fact. Some of the, some of my favourite numbers under five um, are two, three, and four. Um, right. So I can do a two, then a one. Mm, either a damage or an oxygen in this space. That's pretty harsh. You do re-roll all dice. You do re-roll all dice. So the way I read it was like you re-roll all of your dice back into your dice pool. As in like, they're not already there. But I guess that also makes sense that you just re-roll them back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Great berry of <laughs> I hope there's no one from Florida watching, or no one, or no one's drinking Lacroix because they're they're gonna get they're gonna get offended. <laughs> All right, well that was an interesting reroll, um, which perhaps like, is Florida man out there? Is he out there? Um, we've got a one on five, which that's so okay. I think. Uh, let's... One, two, three, four, five. That gets us there. Um, we have to take all these things, which is not good. So, I think a two, then a... One, two, th one, two three gets us one stress. One, two... So, one, two, three gets us one stress. And then a two. Or... We go one, two, one, and then get either a damage or an o or two oxygen, which seems like forward five, back three, forward one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but if we go no, but if we go five right away, then we have to take these as as damage. Um, <laughs> Thags on his anti Lacroix tirade again. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So if you go forward five, we have to take we have to take one stress and then either one oxygen or two. So we'd have to take like a total of either three stress or a stress and an oxygen. And I'm I'm not ready to make that commitment. I can't I'm kinda I think I wanna like eek forward. 
like space by space. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do a three and a two. So if I do a three, that gets us here. Because then I get to kind of skip. I still have to take one stress on my stress tracker. But I. If I cross out. But then. I don't have to take these like way worse ones. I should separate my dice, pull my dice a bit better, sorry. Um, those are used. And the. <laughs> At least it's got bubbles in it. I mean, you know, come on. It's got bubbles in it. <laughs> it's like. If you want to play Devil's Advocate with Thag, just claim to like LaCroix, and you will... <laughs> we've got this. We're done. We're on two. And now we've kind of crossed out all these, and I think... I don't know. I hope that was the right play. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, that's annoying. One, two, three, four. We could re-roll all dice again. Um... One, two, three, four, five, and then try to roll a two, maybe. Um, one, two, three. Let's just go forward four. One, two, three, four. That puts us. We've got a little bit. That gives us a little bit of wiggle room, I think. Because this again is two stress or one oxygen, and two stress will give us a damage. One oxygen wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but it's not. Great. So does Dream Cleaner. <laughs> oh god, your your hatred for like I I feel like did you are you, are you were you like I'm, I have a feeling that your backstory is that you were like maybe you're like the Green Goblin like you got fired from Lacroix and now you've got a event like you you helped invent it and now you got fired. Uh, and, and ousted and all of your shares in LaCroix were taken and now you, you become a, a, an anti-LaCroix supervillain um, that's, that's the backstory that I've now given you and uh, you're welcome feel free to live into that if you like um, we've gone forward by four and we're going to re-roll with one oxygen we are getting a bit okay we're four out of thirteen which isn't terrible we're about halfway on the stress. Damage we're doing okay. But I'm going to re-roll all of these. <laughs> Just wasted money on a case of it. Yeah, that's fair. Oof. That is... Oh, wait, hang on. One, two... Oh, no. No, I thought it was good, but it's not. Sorry. Not good at all. Um, so we've got lots and lots of high numbers, um, which is absolutely terrible. Because... One, two, three, four, five, six gets us here. Four gets us here, which we're not going to be able to get anywhere. And five gets us there, same thing. I'm almost tempted to re-roll all of those, to be honest. Um, it will mean that we are we are running quite low on oxygen. Well, no, we're not. But we, we're, we're clo we'll be close to halfway on oxygen. Um, but let's... <laughs> let's... Let's do it. I think I'm going to re-roll them all. I don't... I don't think I want any of these dice. Oh, sorry. Um, that's that's the space you need it to be in. I think I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to re-roll them all. If this is a bad if this is a bad roll, then oh yeah, it's pretty bad as well. Oh, I mean, at least we got a one and a two, which will get us to this square. Um. And then maybe we can go, like, we can pull some shenanigans, like, five back and six forward or something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really want to cross this, per se, if I can help it. I mean, the, the next damage will still have us rolling five dice, which isn't terrible. Um, I'm sure I should, yeah. So the next damage will still have us rolling five dice, even if I do take two stress. Hmm, this is an interesting, interesting little challenge, isn't it? Uh, okay, I see why this game is. I, I see where I see where this game has got some, got some love. Um, all right, so one, two, because it's like a, it's like a, you know, it's really like a roll and move, except better. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. This would have us take two stress or one oxygen. 
Mm, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stop talking about it and just plow ahead. So that's one. Um, that's one. And this is two. Two. And then one, two, three, four, five will have us be here. And then we just need to roll a lot of ones, essentially, on the on the on the uh, ocean floor if we want to explore. I mean, do I want to explore? No, not really. All of these things sound quite bad, but um, I think that is the aim of the game. So one, two, three, four, five will get us here. We'll have to take either an oxygen or a stress. But then, I mean, I'm gonna have to re-roll anyway. <laughs> All right, excellent. That's good to know. Um, I need to take a. I'm gonna need to take an oxygen anyway to re-roll all of these because there's no way I'm gonna plow down here and then like like get all of these punishments. So I think I'm gonna take one oxygen or land here, take one oxygen. Yeah, in <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do this. Incoming fives and sixes. Um, I'm going to take two stress on that, um, and not the oxygen, because I I trust I trust. Yeah, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take two stress. So that's that. We'll take one and two. Take a damage. Still rolling five. Okay, we're still all right. Cross that out. The dice luck is turning. Yeah, I think you're probably right. We're getting deeper into the into the unknown here, and hopefully we can just bob back to the surface, but I'm not convinced. Right, let's scratch off another oxygen. The, uh, there's like one of those, like, it's like you can hear the groaning, right, of the, of the, of the iron surrounding us. It's got like a little bit of a leak. You know, it's not, it's not, we've got like wet feet, right? We're like paddling a little bit. <laughs> but we're okay, we're okay. We are okay, we're down on the ocean floor. To be, I mean, let's be honest, actually, I should be celebrating, we, we made it. We are down on the ocean floor and goodness, ah, oh, just take a look around. Good, ah, oh, the, the beauty, actually, the beauty of the deep, deep ocean is a pleasure to behold. Oh, it's our boiler, yeah. <laughs> the sea camel wanders across the ocean floor. Five humps on its back and worth to the right buyer several thousand dollars. Six, a five, and a one. So... Do we take a one and then turn around? I think we probably do. Um, yeah, I think we take a one. Let's just take a one, because, like, why not, right? Like, we've, we have we spend some time down here. It's nice. Of course we're... Yeah, in the sea, anything goes. Down there, we don't know what's down there. Camels, maybe. Okay. Some Attenborough for you, yeah. A uh, David, I think though, not Richard. Wait, yeah, David. David's the David's the animal guy. A bit. Oh, come on. I don't think I can. I can't. I don't think I can go a bit deeper. Like this would be one, two, three. That would be two more stress and another oxygen. It's hump day. Can I? Okay, if I do that, one, I'm so I'm immediately folding to peer pressure. One, two, three. Can I get back? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get back. I can get out. I'm feeling a bit nervous about the stress, I'll be honest. One, two. I mean, look at all these places we can't land on the way up. Um, uh, when we're losing one oxygen from this space. Yeah, I think that's right. That's right, Richard Ambrose was John Hammond in, in Jurassic Park. I forgot about that. An evil an evil dinosaur genius. Well not evil, just mis just misguided. Just misguided. Um I mean should we do should we do it? I mean give give me a give me a give me a thumbs up or uh like 
<laughs> Cersei says no. Cersei's like, I know your dice rolls. Go <laughs> run. <laughs> Emergency service. Sound the sirens. <laughs> like, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, I, I try. <laughs> and Fag's like, fully send it. <laughs> Your dice number will go down. Oh, is that true? Oh, well, yeah, eventually when we, yeah, this is true. The fact that I have made it this far is, is quite, is quite remarkable. Okay. We're going to turn around the, this, the, this feels like I'm like walkie talking back up to the top, you know, like I'm like, come in, you know, surface crew, like, <laughs> do I push on? And they're like, dude, no, like. No, dude, <laughs> stop, <laughs> come back. And I'm like, there's five hump camels down here, guys. Guys, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> They're wearing scuba gear. It's sweet. One, two, three, back here. Three back here, and we're good. We've seen all we need to see, and we're going back. We're heading home, boys. Heading home. So when I was a, uh, when I was a, a uh, a, a wee lad when I uh, yeah when I was about when I was an early teenager I used to kayak a lot thang and I <laughs> yeah like you guys are like pushing each other off the radio <laughs> uh, when I was a kid I used to kayak a lot and one of our one of our favorite things um, when it is the winter we used to kayak we used to go and practice in pools right you used to go to the swimming pool and just like we'd we'd <laughs> exactly um, your chick your sea chicken um, is that tuna I think that's tuna. Um, uh, what, what is my mind doing? Yeah, so we used to, I used to, get, we used to go kayaking and we used to go kayaking in the pools. And our favorite thing to do at the end of the session when we'd like practiced our rolls and stuff was to sink the, all the kayaks, just sink them and see what you do. But if you flip over a kayak and sink it, you get like a little pocket of air that sits in the, you know, like you sits in the kayak. So you can then dive down and come back up and surface inside a kayak, um, which is it right now if i think about it i feel like i'm i feel like i'm sweating like it feels horrible it sounds horrible to me um claustrophobic and awful but at the time it was quite fun and it was like you could almost like hide in this kayak and just sit there breathing this like precious weird pocket of oxygen um below the surface so that's that's my that's my bathosphere story and uh, and let's let's go back up it's time to get out of the pool um it's time to it's time to go so we've got a four, we've got a three, we've got a six. Um, we've got, oh, I should have marked this. This was going down that way. So we've got f one, two, three will get us there, which we don't want. Four will get us here, which I think is nice. Six will get us there, which is not. So four it is, and here we are. Um, that's there. Now, oh, don't you dare. It's, it's boiling in here. Hold on. I'm not, there's no way. It's, it's, it's sunny outside. It's sunny Seattle. Hold on. There's no way. We're, 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 I mean, and, and uh, being a Yorkshireman, I'm a bit, I'm a bit cheap. Um, it, it, just being, just being honest. So but the fact that you know it's March. It's it's March. There's no need for there's no need for heat in March. Covered in leeches. Oh my God! Get me out of there. Blech. That is disgusting. I've got a couple other kayak stories, but I might wait to tell them um, until I can remember what we're actually doing. Uh, one, two, th oh yeah, three gets us here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six gets us there to stress. That's not good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six gets us there to more stress. So I guess we'll take a three and then re-roll, maybe? One, two, three to here. We're going up. And now we need either a one, two, or a four in our next roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when we, when we move this past this again, um, when we move past this again, uh, we're going to have to take more stress too, aren't we? Oof. Yeah, Veselko uh, come, coming out of the Middle Ages right here. Like, perfectly good for you. Perfectly good. Just pop a couple of leeches on. Cure your ales. <laughs> I 
<laughs> exactly. Very wise. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's fair. Okay, I'll take it. I, I would. I need to get. A, I need to get a soda stream if I if I was to really be, um, if I was to really be frugal, right? I think that's the way to do it. You like make the investment up front. What am I doing? I'm here. No, I just rolled a three. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna mark off an ox. Or I mean, do I just take the stress, or do I mark? Do I just take the stress and just go t there so I can have a better, better chance of one, two, three, four, five? I'll be able to roll four numbers here, or only three numbers here. But is that worth an extra stress? I don't know. Because in getting here, I'll only have three numbers again. So I'll have three numbers and three numbers, or I'll have four numbers and one stress, and then ooh, this this little corner is looking pretty bad. Um, I guess, but you have to like refill it with like bubbly can. What are those can uh, canisters? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. So, you know, you're getting your entertainment value as well. Um, ooh, okay. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Do I take the stress or do I not? I think... One, two, three. Well, if I go here, I'm going to have to roll... There's still a chance that I'll only be able to get stress again, whereas here, I think... I think it's better because I've got a wider run of options. Um, all right, roger that. Take the stress. Thanks, Surface Team. Um, so we're moving back up. Um, do I like? I, I guess like I cross this off. I'll cross it off again so we can tell we've been there twice. That's one stress for us. Um, but we'll take an oxygen, re-roll all of our dice. Huh. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's actually perfect. I think this is actually perfect. Hold on. Four will take us one, two, three, four to here, which we've never been to before, and it's only one past the stress marker. So stress one, right? And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need we need to move another one here. Going up. Ding. That's my that's my elevator noise. Elevator impression. One, two, three, four, five, six to here. Champion. Um, not so good. But we could get here. Oh no, hang on. Oh yeah, no, it's bad. Yeah, it is bad. Um, it's a stress. But I think getting here is pretty good because otherwise if i re-rolled them i'd have to get either a two or three or, or a five whereas if i get here i can get a three five or a six another stress oh this i don't know maybe i've overplayed my hand here i'm a bit nervous now i'm gonna do both so i'm gonna move on to this one take a stress Oh gosh. Uh, move on to this one. Lose an oxygen to re roll everything. Oh boy. Okay. Um, you know what? Our running out here isn't terrible. We got a lot of like pretty, you know, pretty nice gaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stress until our bathosphere collapses upon us and we we end up in a watery grave. That does make me feel a bit nervous, but oh, you know what? The Solaris can take it. She's a beautiful vessel. Uh huh. That's good. I think that's good. Triple six, double two. We were here. No, we were here, going up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Going up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going up again. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, going up again. Oh, 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 oh. one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can skip all of this corner. Six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is brilliant. Another, t and now we'll look at this. We are powering to the surface, ladies and gentlemen. Powering, I say. Did I move my net last six? Yeah, I think I did. Six, 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 yes. Two to here, and then two to skip. Boop, skip over there. You love to see it. We are running out of oxygen, I'll be honest. We've got four more, uh, three more re-rolls. I think we can get out. I think we can... Did I go five? No, I didn't. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. No, 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 no. No, I did not. I did not go six. One, I will start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No, I am, I am good. I am, I am, I've counted. I've counted. Ra uh, surface team, you mind your own, mind your own business. Surface team, I'm coming up. Did anyone? Uh, uh, I don't. Say to me. <laughs> yeah, just, just crushes it like, like the whatever the evil version of Poseidon is just comes in and. Um, I don't, I, I don't remember. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember what I was gonna say, but I now I do. Uh, when I was a kid, um, I watched quite a bit of Baywatch, like, and not in like a weird, like, pervy way, because I think I was like nine, but in a way that was like, there's a great storyline. <laughs> and I remember, the only episode I remember is this one time where David Hasselhoff had to dive down to like save someone trapped in like a sunken wreck, like a diver had got stuck, and he dived down, like free dove down, and came back up. And he got the bends, and he had to be put in one of those chambers. And I just remember that that's the, it's the only thing I remember about that that show, or at least the only episode I remember from that show. And uh, and I feel like we're rising at an alarming rate, um, a rate which indeed Satan might be proud of, because um, he no, that doesn't really make sense. But we're here now, and we've really we've did I oh no did I scratch off an oxygen? I think I I don't think I did. So I think we've got to scratch off one more. I think. Um, and we're here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We've got threes, we've got twos, we've got fives. And hopefully that'll get us pretty flipping close to home. One, two, three, four, five. That's not good. So we're going to do a three here. One, two, three. There we go. Going up. Now we need one, two, three, four, five to get there. Yes. Oh, guys, I can see. I can see the light, like, like flickering in through the surface. Like, you know, that, like, that dancing, dancing through the shoals, schools of fish uh, that we are currently plowing our way through. Where did I go? Here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Two. Two. <gasps> oh, you beauty. Two here. Yeah. Two here. Yeah. Take a stress. Ooh, we take a damage. Now is it is it this this is the current or is it the next one that's open clarification when marking stress or damage always start blah, blah 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 when you mark damage you circle the die next to that damage this indicates you're aware of the new okay so it is still 5 um wait was was Jason Momoa wait isn't is Jason Momoa that the big like the big guy with the big muscles and whatnot, like he's got the long hair. Am I thinking? Who am I thinking of? Is that was he in Baywatch? Was he? I don't. All I remember is all I remember is the is the half. Um. 
still yeah still five because we're, we're we're right here so that's brilliant um we just took uh our second two yeah now we've got a three. Oh, here we go one two and a three right there and you better believe wait hang on so now what i so now when I, when I get to the start and the end space, I need to roll exact, don't I? It's one of those bloody games where you need to roll exact to finish. Or at least you need to roll exact if you don't want to take more stress. We've got stress to spare, don't get me wrong. But, you know, let's just, let's just see if we can... No. I see. I thought you needed... I thought it said, like... I thought I read somewhere that you need to, like... Really? I did not know that. Huh. Didn't know he was in there. Hang on. You do not mark stress run use movement on the start end. However, you do need to go back and check. Oh, okay. Check for actions you passed over. If your Basphere still survived, you've escaped. Oh, beautiful. All right. So we're here for three. Right. One, two, three. So that was that. We need to mark off an oxygen. Flimmin' heck, we were pretty flipping close. But, surface team, thank you. Thanks to you, I think we're about to make it out. As long as we roll more than a two. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're alive, alive and well. Da -da 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 -da. We're still alive. We've got a long neck for some reason. That's my diving bell helmet. A little bubbles. Yes! In your face, beach, beach bay, beach side bay. We are the. Rulers of the ocean. Parts of Stargate Atlantis. Huh. Wow. It accommodates an Aquaman when he's king of Atlantis. Whoa. Whoa. So he's he's like done a full he's in a full circle. It's like a it's like a, a, a beautiful like natural story arc of an actor's of an actor's life on screen lord richard i am with you solaris is the is it's the it's the most beautifulest proof that working hard pays off yeah there you go the beautifulest vessel to ever sail the seven seas or descend under them at least and we have made it back to the surface i want to play this again uh quite frankly i had a nice time i this is great this is great um, I know that it's been an hour, so I probably will have to cut the stream, but, <laughs> but maybe next time, maybe we'll do a special, maybe we'll do a special Bathysphere campaign stream. Like, there's no day that starts with B, so I can't really play on the, uh, alliteration, but maybe it's like Solaris Sundays, something like that. Who knows? Maybe. You know, I'm just saying, just putting it out there. We could, we could do it. Yeah, it's like he knew, right? Like... He's like, I want, I want, I want my career to have a theme. Like he like came into it like, oh, I just think I'll just take C, C related parts. I suppose Atlantis is in space, but you know, same, you know, same kind. He's like, I'll just take, oh, I just want to link him. I want my IMDb to be like fully nautical. Mm. Well, Sahara <laughs> Sundays. Then it's a deal. It's a, it's a, it's a done deal. It might have, it might have, I might just call it Solaris Sundays and just do it on Monday, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> it's Sunday somewhere, maybe. No, that's not, that's not true. Well, this was, this was, this was fun. I, I don't know why I've pushed off playing this for so long. I, for some reason, I thought it was like way more complicated than it actually is, but I suppose, like you said, Veselko, it probably gets a bit more, <laughs> wait for it, it gets a bit more dicey once you get down onto some of these further levels. So, so what I mean, what what does this mean? Seven H. What is it? What is all this? Mark one crack before me. Probably unmarked space you pass. Blah blah blah. Oh, hang on. For 
for every unmarked space you pass, mark one uncrossed action on it and perform it. Wait, so could I have gone around on... Could I have gone further on the ocean floor without taking all of these? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice to win a game on stream. It's nice to... <laughs> it's, it's not... It's quite rare. <laughs> ocean floor. When you stop on a white target space, you mark it and then collect whatever's there, usually by circling something. Solaris Sundays are on Monday, Tack Tuesdays on Wednesday. It's it's all it's all like I said at the start, like it's, it's all the same at this point, right? Like who who who's even who's even take keeping track anymore? Months, days, weeks. I, I like who even knows? It was uh the, I had in my like in my like a journal, I think it was like last week maybe it was like a full year of like when we like first heard of like oh they're gonna shut down like we're gonna lock down we're gonna like shut down downtown seattle and i was like that how is that a thing you can't like close you can't close businesses like what does that even mean like it doesn't make sense you can't like how, how are you gonna close a starbucks how are you gonna close a, a, a jimmy john's like it doesn't make any sense and then like the next week it was like yeah we're closing all those things like wait what <laughs> like hang on but yeah, there you go. I don't, I don't know what days are anymore. Or years, in fact. Um, I'm going to need to look into this rule about the ocean floor. I'm kind of confused now. Because when you land on a space you've not landed there, do not perform the action, exception, ocean floor. So we do need to perform the action when we get here. But then for every unmarked space you pass, mark one uncrossed action on it and perform it, exception, ocean floor. So it's only the spaces you land on, on the ocean floor that that make that give you the negative things i think is how i'm reading that so like i could have gone a three and just i mean i still probably wouldn't have wanted to and take three stress rather than take five or two stress and an oxygen i would have just taken three stress by landing on it i think that's how that is working so then i i must be missing a page because I'm pretty sure there are... Oh, hang on. Bathosphere map 0A also features two new icons. They look like little swirly atom things with a code that connects to the map with a dotted line. Ignore them for now. You can't travel on the dotted lines at this part, this point. Any map that displays these atom twirly things should be kept after you've played a game with them, as you'll need the map with all your markings at a later date. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okie dokie. So this one looks to be pretty similar to the last game. Like, other than the markings, which are obviously different. Hang on, where did I put my sheet? Where did... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think these are sli Yeah, look, so the these are slightly different. So we've got, like, negative effects on like different spaces. So this is obviously like gonna be probably a little bit harder, one would imagine. And then once we've got through some other part of the campaign, we get to uh, we get to go visit some Oh and there is yeah you're right, there is more stress lines. So you're gonna take more stress after you move past the uh, the depth zone. Ooh, alright. Well yeah okay I'm I'm down with playing some more of this. Uh and may I'll save it. I'll save it for you guys. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to keep all the fun for myself. Um, I'll save it. I don't want to. I don't want to go and. Yeah. Yeah. I'll save it. But I think we we will call it enough. I don't. I don't think I can. I can do another hour um, or another. Eight, I don't think you want to do another eighty minutes of, uh, of watching me roll some dice. But this was a lovely time. And as always, I uh, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much for being here and um, and around. And yeah, I just love you all. Yeah, you're just lovely. I think you're great. So thanks for being around here with the Solaris. Solaris is uh, Solaris is it. We're taking it down, down to the bottom of the ocean. And uh, I feel accomplished. I feel accomplished. I feel accomplished. No, oh, Lord Richard, you're too kind. No, 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 no. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. I've got. I, I've got. I've got duties. I've got food-related duties waiting for me. Um. But, <laughs> but, but do, but do come back and watch the second installment because we'll, we'll play again um, and we'll make, I'll try to make it, I'll try to make it relatively soon. 
have a lovely evening. Thank you so much, um, all of you. Thag, um, I hope you feel better. Um, thank you for joining uh, live. I hope your internet turns back on. Vasilko, thank you so much for helping me with the rules. Chrissy, thanks for being my um, my my radio on the surface. Lord Richard and everyone else, Hilltown, Seaton, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see. I'll see you all later. Thanks so much. All right. Have a good night.